Now, Carol is with us this morning here in the studio and she has this morning's weather for us. Morning, Carol. Good morning, Sal, and good morning to you too. The weather today, once again, is a mixture of sunshine, areas of cloud and also some showers. So you can see where we've got the showers. We've got a weak weather front moving across northern Scotland at the moment, but we've also got well scattered showers in between some dry conditions. We'll have the remnants of it still across northeast Scotland and across the English Channel. And it'll be quite a murky day as well, quite a bit of cloud around and also one or two showers. So the weather is certainly not going to be dry all week, Sal and John. Oh, I don't know, I was thinking I could have had a long lie this morning. <laughs> it's got no. the weather in here. But today's weather is a right old mixture, once again, of sunshine and showers. Beautiful start to the day, though, in Wales. It is a mixture of sunshine and showers. The heaviest are likely to be across southeast Scotland and northeast England. Keen northwesterly breeze, which is accentuating the cool feel to the day on what we're looking at day by day. And then as we head into the last show part of the week, well, Friday and Saturday, it's again a mixture of sunshine and showers. What we're expecting today are temperatures more like this. So in Sardinia, they've fallen by a good 10 degrees. That's what we expect. It is, of course, the forecast. Back out of the way, here is the key. So if you see whites or blues, temperatures are average or below. And look what happens as we head towards the end of the week. All these whites return, the blues return. And that basically means that temperatures will be average or indeed even below average. For North Africa, the heat's going to transfer into parts of southern Iberia and temperatures there could get up to about the low 40s once again. So it's really changeable. It is, yeah. but a relief at least on the cards as we head towards the latter part of the week from this searing heat. Good morning, today is a day of sunshine and showers. Some of those will be heavy in places, but they should dry up from the southwest as we go through the course of the afternoon as a ridge of high pressure builds in. I'll have all the details later in the programme. Now, some of us are off to a beautiful start, as you can see from our Weather Watchers picture here, taken just a little bit earlier in Buckinghamshire and also into Thursday. So the weather, Sal and John, remains unsettled right the way into the weekend and the beginning of next week. Carol, thank you. Australian winter here today. <laughs> well, perhaps not quite that, John. No. Good morning, everybody. But we are looking at some sunshine in the forecast. You can see we've got some blue sky around. Of course, northwest England has been particularly wet as we've gone through the course of this weekend. But through the afternoon, though, it could well brighten up. But top temperatures, Sal and John, could get up to about 23 degrees somewhere. Carol, thank you. Good morning. Today's a day of sunshine and also scattered showers. Many of the showers will fade in the southwest through the afternoon as high pressure builds in, but the rest of the week remains unsettled. I'll have all the details later in the programme. Not all of us will catch one in the morning by any stretch. A few showers getting into Northern Ireland, some showers getting into the west of Scotland and also the heaviest ones across the north of Scotland. We also have quite a keen northwesterly breeze. Well, Sal and John, the weather does remain rather unsettled. We all need a pep up, don't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Certainly do. Carol, thank you. But in the coming days, temperatures will start to slip back down to closer to average and for some, just a little below average, which will be, of course, a blessed relief. The wind, an important factor of the wildfires as well. What we've got closer to home is an unsettled day, but nothing like we're seeing across other parts of Europe. We also will have a change in the wind direction, which is going to be more of a southerly component to it. And our temperature is 14 to 22 degrees. And then, Sal and John, it's going to start to feel muggy overnight Wednesday and into Thursday. Carol, thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you.